Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. This week, we're going to do a rack of lamb on the big green egg. Stick around! Okay everyone, we got a few pieces of some B&B pecan here we're going to stick in here. And we're going to start these rack of lambs. We're going to start cooking them direct. Once this comes up to temperature, we're going to go ahead and clean off our grill grate. We're going to sear these on both sides real well. Uh, we got a, a little bit of Greek freak and spice allergy we're going to use on it today. And some olive oil. That's it. We're going to keep it real simple for these racks of lambs. We're going to finish them indirect. We're going to put the plate setter back in, put the grill back on top, and finish off the rack of lamb. Stick around. So we're just trimming this up a little bit here today. Trying to get this fat seam off of it here. Go down along that. You want to get this silver skin off too. We'll work on that here in a minute. Take your time. Just get it off the best you can. Try to get some of our seasonings down in there to it. Now we'll come back here and just try to get up underneath that skin. Push it away from you. Try to get all this skin off of it. Nasty stuff nobody wants to eat. Back through again. You try to keep your knife pointed up. That way you're not trying, you're not hacking off too much meat. Hey everyone, so we got some real good olive oil here. We're just gonna brush on this lamb. Give it a good coat. Then we're gonna hit it with some of this Greek Freak by Spiceology. Smells wonderful. Can't wait to give it a try. So then we're going to flip these over. Repeat that step. These things smell wonderful already. So we hit it again with some more of this. We got our big green egg right now. Cooking direct about 400. We're gonna go ahead and throw these on. And I'm gonna put them down first. We're gonna sear both sides real well. And we're gonna put the plate setter back on and we're gonna cook it slow for the rest of the cook. We wanna take these anywhere between uh, 135, 145, depending on the preference of, of how you like to eat lamb. But this cook will not take long.
So we're just going to give these a quarter turn and get some good marks on them. We're going to shut it down for about another minute. Okay, everybody, we're going to go ahead and pull these off and we're going to set the egg up for indirect cooking. So check back with us here. We're going to put the plate setter in and let this thing finish. We want to cook it a little bit slower the rest of the way through, so stick around. Okay, everybody, we went back in and set our egg up for indirect cooking. Uh, we got the plate setter in. We're going to go ahead and put our racks of lamb back in there. And we're going to set these so they're leaning on one another. Like so. We'll, we'll finish these off. It'll probably be another 15, 20 minutes and these will be done. We're going to go ahead and check these. I think we're getting pretty close to being done here. It didn't smoked out. Yeah, we're hitting good temp on these. They're super tender, so we're going to go ahead and pull them off. Let these guys rest over here. You can see that that rub really crusted up nice on there. It's got a nice little bark to it. That olive oil helped a lot. We're gonna let these things rest for probably about 10 or 15 minutes. And then we're gonna come back and slice one up and give it a shot for you. Okay, everybody, we got this rack of lamb off. We're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Just gonna cut this down along this, in between the two bones, see what this looks like here. Ooh, that's done perfect. Go ahead and trim another one of these up. So we got that cooked. I wanna get an end piece, cause I mean, it's done perfect. You can see the juice in there yet. It's running out of there. We're going to go ahead and give this little lollipop thing a try. Ooh. That's really good. Really good flavor from the rubs that we got from the Spiceology, the uh, Freak Greek. Excellent. Everything turned out good on it. It's cooked to perfection. That egg did a great job. We're going to take this inside and share it with the rest of the family if we have to. Remember, everybody, keep following us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Go to YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Get you some.